welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by uh, it is a holiday season so i would like to say merry christmas and happy new year when the new year comes there's a common practice that most people do which is new year resolution reflection and planning for the new year i was doing a lot of planning and reflection for the past couple of months and thought it would be beneficial if I share what I have learned through all these practices. Number one, setting a big goal. It's important to set a big goal, um, like to know what we really want to be in life in 10 years, in five years. That will help us to be focused and to live intentional life. I know that it is not easy always to know what we want in 10 years or you know five years but you can start from your passion interest and then you can work around that my first uh, life plan was prepared uh, right after i finished my bachelor degree um, i prepared a career uh, plan and i was uh, very optimistic and fully trusting god and um, when i review my plan I am so thankful and grateful for what God has done in my life. Uh, God has answered so many of my prayers and requests, and my plan was also a prayer book. Some of my plans were, um, I was a teacher uh, first, so I wanted to work in NGO uh, development work. I wanted to study masters overseas, and I wanted to have international experience. And one of my prayer was to, to find a loving, caring, and wonderful man, and that is David. Come, David. <laughs> yeah, so he is my answer <laughs> for my prayer. <laughs> One of my plans was to start an organization that uh, help vulnerable women to improve the quality of life. And um, so I was reviewing my life plan and uh, realized that, you know, this is the right time maybe to start uh, something. And um, while I was uh, reviewing my life plan, um, I, I was contacted by my former colleague, uh, she uh, started and uh, registered the Shalom charity organization. She was asking me to support her and I thought this is a perfect time and uh, when I start a business, this business will help uh, to support women in Ethiopia. One of my big plans for next year is to launch my cosmetic business and uh, some of the portion of the sales will uh, go to help uh, women um, that are supported by Shalom Charity Organization. So I encourage you to develop a, a big plan. And when I prepare my plan, I was mostly optimistic. I'm like, my goals were very, you know, um, ambitious. But you know what? Because God is big and he can do so much things beyond our imagination. Yeah, God has answered so many of uh, my questions, so many of you know my uh, plans that I would like to do in life. And when I say this, it doesn't mean that uh, my life is smooth. I, I have been through so many ups and downs and we all know that life is not easy like all of us we have our own challenge and but through all that God is faithful and God is with us and we conquer through him and we can do all things through Christ as the Bible says so that's what I believe and uh, when we uh, have bad experiences or when we have um, challenging uh, life situations it is hard to have a big picture it is hard to be ambitious it is hard to go forward i'd like to mention the experience of 12 israelites those are sent by moses to see canaan to see the geographical features of uh, the promised land that gives uh, milk and honey and uh, when they came back only two of them came back with positive attitude um, 10 of them, they were already defeated. 12 of them, they saw the same thing, but two of them, 
because they trusted in God, because they remembered what God has done in the past through their wilderness experience, they trusted God. They say, like, we can win, we can um, go and get Canaan. But 10 of them, they were faithless, they were fearful. So uh, it is important when we see things to see things in God's lens, you know, when we see things, we have our own lens, the lens that are shaped by our past experiences. So I would like to encourage you to look at things, you know, in God's perspective. When we have God's perspective, we will um, have a positive attitude. Donald Miller says it is important to redeem your past experiences and your failure. In fact, we, we say failure, but it is a way that we get lesson in life. So uh, if we really look at our difficult experiences in life, there is something that we can learn from it. So um, it is good to redeem it and then uh, start to look at the bigger picture, what God has called us to do in life. And the other thing that we need to consider in life is to look at what roles we play in life. For example, I play a wife role, I play a sister role, I play a daughter role, and um, it's important to look at all those roles that we play in life and plan um, how we can serve uh, best in uh, all of our roles. The main thing is action, taking action. Uh, it is easier, in fact, to plan, but to take action is the most difficult thing. And yeah, changing habits, it is, um, it is, it is challenging. Maybe in the future videos, I will share you how we can um, tackle to change our behavior and our habits to live a successful life. One of um, the techniques that I used is, um, I heard from uh, Mel Robbins, she say, do it anyways, even if you don't feel like it. For example, like you plan uh, like to go to exercise, or uh, you plan yeah, to do something and when the time comes, maybe the weather is not good, maybe you want to sleep and all that. And uh, she says, do it anyways, even if you don't feel like it. So using that technique. But when I say this, I'm not, you know, always on top of things. No, I'm still struggling and we are all in this together. And thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video and please support by subscribing, liking, sharing and also if you would like to uh, support Lemlem Cosmetics go to www.lemlemcosmetics.com and you can do purchase so thank you for watching.